if I had the chance in 100 days and had of the Greens been forming a, a, a good new progressive government, we would have made our rivers swimmable, set bottom standards, not just uh, safe for boating, we would have made them safe for swimming. We would have invested a billion dollars in helping out our poorest kids growing up in poverty. We would have invested a billion dollars in research and development, getting to a smart, green, innovative economy. All right, okay, that's enough. What about you? The first 100 days, you, what, what are you going to do? What's We're, the national government going to do? We will continue do? with our business growth agenda and our overall economic plan. That is absolutely vital. If you want to deliver better public services, you've got to have a strong and stable economy to do that. We will also work on that free trade agreement with Korea. We're going to boost our support for hospices and palliative care, which is a really important thing with our ageing population. And we're also going to see 90% of cancer sufferers getting treatment within 62 days. days. That's what we're, we are working on those initiatives. They will be a primary focus. You asked right. what our priorities were. All That's right. what we we'll get started really on. Meant was look at the flag. Look at the flag. All right. What about you? If you were in government, if you were the leader, the first 100 days, what would it look like, Grant? Lift the minimum wage, set targets to eradicate child poverty and put them into legislation. Bring in 26 weeks paid parental leave. Have regional economic development plans for every region in the country set up. Introduce the 15% R&D tax credit and set up the Independent Climate Commission that's going to set targets to reduce emissions. OK. That'll do. <laughs> that, that, that sounds ambitious for the first 100 days. It should be ambitious. <laughs> what about you? What's your first 100-day plan? Well, I, I want to see the speech from the throne set out a very clear programme of government action around the things we talked about earlier in terms of an overall strategy for improving the economy, for improving education and social services, and then the legislative packages that give effect to those being introduced, sent off to select what committees. You, what One other issue I think we also need to talk about uh, is the mounting international problem of IS and what New Zealand's response to that situation should be. Good point. Um, we've got a bit of a, a three-ring circus thing going on tonight, hence why I'm dressed like a, a ringmaster. Um, we've had the psychic, we've had the music, and what circus would be uh, complete, wouldn't be complete, with a magician. Edward the Magician, hello. Hello, how are you folks? Thank you so much for coming on. Now, the burning question, of course, uh, uh, that we thought we'd get you to do some magicking around is what? Is a prediction I have. A prediction that you have on... Three names. There are three names. David three. Parker, sorry. You're... Yeah, the three, he three heavy hitters of the Labour Party. We have... David Parker came out from nowhere. We have Grant uh, Robertson, yes, who's made quite a name for himself this year. And, we and, you, and you spelled it right as well, so yeah, that's perfect. Oh, I know, I was a little worried about that, and my handwriting's very beautiful. And we have David uh, Cunliffe. Cunliffe is how it's pronounced here. Yeah. You know what, he, he tried his best, you know. I'm, so you're going to do some magicking, we're going to have a magician. I mean, like, to be honest, you know, I thought, oh, magician, okay, you know, uh, we, you know I was hoping for David Bain or something like that, but, you know. Angel, <laughs> Cut Angel, or... Yeah. A dynamo. Yes. Dynamo, that's right. Um, so we need a volunteer from the audience? Yes, why don't you pick one? OK, I'll find a random volunteer from the audience. Uh, oh, look, hello, sir, can you come on? Can you come out here, please? <laughs> totally, totally random. <laughs> <laughs> this man is completely independent, has no vested interest whatsoever. OK. okay. <laughs> so, folks, what I have here is the three names. I'm not going to predict who is going to be the leader of the Labour Party because anything could happen in the now moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to predict what this handsome gentleman is going to say. <laughs> anything could happen. Before you make your decision, I must commit myself. <laughs> now I have a name written on this piece of paper. And you say the name, you will say the name, and hopefully I do this trick correctly. <laughs> if I don't, you'll still have fun, maybe more fun. Okay, so go ahead. Which name is it? <laughs> David Shearer. Oh, come on, you've got to play the game a little bit. Can we choose one of the three options? At least just work with me here. Well, what were the three options? Oh, they were, they were David Parker, uh, David Cunliffe and Grant Roberts. It's not hard, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Well, well, I'll go for the non-runner then. David Parker. David Parker. Okay, yeah, just to be completely. David Parker. You don't want to change your mind. No. How come you don't want to change your mind? You, you could change your mind. I, I, I can take the cards. All right. Let's hope. I can't, you know what? I can't look. I can't look right now. Did I get it right? He did. Sorry for you. <laughs> Anyways, I have a new trick. I got a card trick right now. Everyone likes card tricks. No, I don't like it. I thought we paid for a decent magician, not someone. Yeah, I thought yeah. we'd like, you know. Yeah, but you're gonna like this trick because it's it's, it's 52 pickup. Okay, here uh, we go. Here we go. 